Uh, the Smalls, John and Vicki Small back there in the back, appreciate you all coming from Fayetteville. They're not a big customer, but I've known them for 25 years, and they're just like family, you know? so I appreciate it. Uh, my motorcycle friends, <coughs> Charlie and Mark and Harold and, and Pam and, and Glenda, sorry Abby couldn't be here. All the former Ashland people, Jose Graves, uh, Howard Beverly, Mike Offer, I'm not sure I can pick all of you out, but I, just, you know, I, I appreciate it. The, uh, I know all of you for many, many years. And, you know, when I started with this company or with Ashland 40 years ago, I never had any idea this day would ever come. But uh, some of you don't think about it when you're 22 years old. But it has come. And I, <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you know, I've, I've chosen to do this. And I hope it's the right decision. You know, it's bad economic times right now. It's probably not the best time to retire, but you know, I'm going to do it anyway. And hopefully, I don't have to live on any of that retirement money for a few years, and I'll let Uncle Sam and Ashlyn pension and a few other things take care of me for a while. Anyway. And. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do after I retire. I may, I may go get a job part time. I may. I've already called the Country Music Hall of Fame. They have a volunteer program down there, so I may do some volunteer work. Yeah. Yeah. Been a lot of that. Ben, Ben's a country music fan. And I didn't know that. I mean, I a fan of also being here. Mother, mother Paul. Yeah, my mother keeps saying that she wants me on the Grand Ole Opera playing the banjo, but I'm not going to make it that far. But, but uh, you know, I, may, I may try to pursue the banjo a little bit. Anyway. And I hope Marcy does a good job, you know, taking my area over, and uh, Michelle taking my customers in, in Mississippi, and Amber taking part of Virginia. It's like three, three young women to replace one old guy. What? What else can you do for your ego? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know anything else, but I appreciate it. It's been a, been a lot of fun. It's been a good, good career. And, you know, my dad worked for Ashland for 30, what, 35 years. Jay Hannell's been there 33 years. His father, I don't know how many years. In Joe, 40. How many? 40. He was there 40 years, John Hannell was. Uh, Ben's starting out. Uh, he had our whole family together. There's probably a hundred and some years. And, uh, and my grandfather, uh, even though he didn't work for Ashland, he was a, a crude oil <coughs> gauger up in eastern Kentucky for many years. And I used to, I used to ride. I used to ride horseback with him to go up and gauge oil wells. Wow. Quite an experience. <coughs> like I say, my mother still gets checks from those oil wells. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday I'll get some. She's 87 and going strong. <laughs> so I, I don't know, I just thank all of you. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. say one other thing too. <laughs> I didn't know these two were going to be here tonight. Uh, Tara lives in Seattle and uh, she's a designer for classmates.com. Don't cry about that. that. She, she, writes a, she writes a blog for the Seattle <laughs> newspaper. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> she has Urban Fashion Network and I don't know what that is. <laughs> But she seems to be busy all the time. Uh, Christy lives in Cincinnati, and she works for Luxotica Retail, which is Blends Crafter Stores, and she works in what HR? Or, uh, she has a good job up there, doing well, getting ready to get married next April. So they both done well, and we love them, and we appreciate.
appreciate I appreciate you coming. Both of you.